Here are some interesting facts about the frill necked lizard. The frill necked lizard, also known as the frill lizard or frill dragon, is found living in tropical rainforests and woodland areas of northern Australia and New Guinea. They are part of the reptile family and are cold blooded, meaning they rely on the sun to heat their bodies. They vary in colour and size depending on their region. On average, adults reach around 3 feet in length from their head to their tail. Their tail makes up more than half of their length and they weigh around half a kilogram. They spend most of their time in trees, but come down occasionally to find food. They feed on ants, spiders, termites and other invertebrates, as well as small lizards and small mammals. The frill-necked lizards are able to change their skin colour in order to blend into their surroundings. This helps them to hide from predators. This camouflage technique also helps them when they are looking for prey, as by blending into their surroundings it makes it difficult for prey to see them. The colours that they change to vary depending on their environment, but they are mostly able to change to both grey and brownish tones, which helps them to blend into the rainforest areas in which they live. The frill-necked lizard is named after the large fold of skin that normally lies folded up against the lizard's head and neck area. When they are confronted by a predator, they rise upon their hind legs and open up their frill, then they open their mouth and hiss. This makes them appear much larger and more intimidating. If a predator is unintimidated by their performance, the lizard simply runs off as fast as it can, without stopping until it reaches the safety of a tree. As they run away, they remain on their hind legs with their frill still open. The frill-necked lizards are territorial and normally like to live alone, but male and females come together to mate around the start of the wet season. Females lay an average of between 4 and 20 eggs in an underground nest. The mother will not return to look after them, so they are on their own from the start. The young hatch about 8 to 12 weeks later and are left to look after themselves. Their lifespan in the wild is unknown, but in captivity they can live up to 20 years old. Thank you very much for listening. For more videos about wildlife, please subscribe.